Today we'll identify 10 things you absolutely need to know about the beautiful city of Vienna. A cultural giant on the global landscape, Vienna is the capital and largest city in Austria. Let's do this. Number 1. Vienna is the most livable city in the world. According to the global livability rankings put out every year by the Economist Intelligence Unit, Vienna has been consistently ranked as among if not the most livable city on the planet. Their rankings are based on the categories of stability, healthcare, culture, environment, education, and infrastructure. Vienna made the top spot in 2022 and 2023 among the 172 cities that were surveyed, and also one in 2018 and 2019. Digging deeper, the Austrian capital has been ranked in the top two every year since 2015, except in 2021 when the city missed out on the top 10 altogether. I'm not sure what happened that year, so I'll use the global trend and blame it on COVID. That's gotta be it. According to the rankings, Vienna does have one downside, the relative lack of major sporting events. Get it together, Austria Wien. Your city needs you. Vienna scores highly each year because of its world-class public transportation system, affordable housing, low crime rates, and its many clean green spaces such as the famous Prater Park. It all adds up to Vienna being an incredible place to call home. But what might you hear while visiting the Austrian capital? You'll find out next. Number two, Vienna is known as the city of music. I'm not sure if it contributes to Vienna being so livable, but one thing that makes it so enjoyable is its rich musical history. Dating back to classical times, Vienna has been home to some of the world's greatest musical innovators. During the classical period, composers like Mozart, Beethoven, Schubert, and Joseph Haydn all lived and worked in the city. Vienna's aristocracy, the Habsburgs, provided patronage for these composers, creating an environment that allowed for artistic development to flourish. They created what is today known as the Viennese classical style, which is known for its balance, clarity, and elegance. Their works laid the foundation for Western classical music. Vienna continues to be a giant in music to this day. According to the website Appreciate Opera, the Vienna Philharmonic is the greatest orchestra in the world. I'm thinking they've got to be the experts on opera because they appreciate it. Another highlight of the Vienna music scene is the Vienna Boys Choir, a 500-year-old group that performs both classical and contemporary music to audiences worldwide. But what good is music if you can't move to it? Which leads us to number three. Vienna hosts over 450 balls every year. With all that music, it's reasonable to expect that there will be a lot of dancing in Vienna. And it does just that, hosting more balls than any other city on the planet. The city is famous for its romantic and festive balls, attracting locals and visitors alike from all around the world. These traditional events offer a unique experience with atmospheres that are rich with ceremonial rituals and courtly customs dating back to the 18th century, including dress codes and grand entrances by debutantes. I'm getting a Bridgerton vibe. There are also special moments like the midnight performance and small gifts for attendees upon entry. One of the most anticipated events is the Ball of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra held in the majestic halls of the Vienna Musikverein. The Opera Ball held in the Vienna Opera House is considered the official state ball of Austria. All this tradition leads to one undeniable fact. Number 4. Vienna has some amazing history. The history of Vienna spans over 2,000 years, its beginnings traced back to a Celtic settlement evolving into the Roman frontier town of Vindabona in the 1st century AD. Throughout the centuries, Vienna's significance grew, eventually becoming the seat of the Habsburg monarchy in the 13th century. Skipping forward, the 19th century saw Vienna grow into prominence as a cultural and political center of Europe. It hosted the Congress of Vienna in 1814, which reconfigured the continent following the Napoleonic Wars. Vienna continued to flourish as the capital of the Austro-Hungarian Empire until its dissolution after World War I. Today, Vienna continues to enchant visitors, leading millions of tourists to visit each year. What can you see when you visit Vienna? Here's an idea. Number five. Vienna has one of the largest museum quarters in the world. Vienna's Museum Quarter, also known as MQ, is a must-see in the heart of the city. It covers an area of 60,000 square meters, making it one of Europe's largest cultural districts. Originally built as the Imperial Stables in the 18th century, it was repurposed in the late 20th century, becoming a center for arts and culture. Today, the MQ is home to a variety of museums, galleries, 
exhibition spaces, and cultural institutions, including the Leopold Museum, Vienna's Museum of Modern Art, and a Natural History Museum. Besides the cultural attractions, the MQ offers inviting open spaces, trendy cafes, and bustling outdoor areas, creating a lively atmosphere that appeals to both locals and tourists. Let's move on. Number six, Vienna is home to international organizations. This makes it a major center for global diplomacy. Here are some examples. Vienna is one of the four main United Nations headquarters, hosting offices and agencies like the United Nations Office at Vienna, which focuses on tackling issues like drug control, crime prevention, nuclear disarmament, and industrial development. Outside of the UN, Vienna is also home to OPEC, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. OPEC consists of 13 oil exporting nations that sets policies on oil production and pricing. There's more, but I think you get the point. Besides, I'm getting hungry sharing all this knowledge. Number seven, the croissant was invented in Vienna. The croissant, that flaky, buttery pastry beloved around the world, was originally made in Vienna, Austria, not France as many believe. Back then, it was known as a kipferl, a crescent-shaped pastry made with yeast leavened dough rich in butter. The kipferl was introduced to France in the late 1830s by Austrian bakers during a period of labor exchange between the two countries. So why is it in the shape of a crescent, you might ask? It goes all the way back to the 17th century. Legend has it that the kipferl was created to commemorate the victory of the Austrian army over the Ottoman Turks during the 1683 Battle of Vienna. The shape of the pastry was said to resemble the crescent moon on the Ottoman flag, symbolizing the defeat of the Turks. Whether it's steeped in historical symbolism or born out of practicality, croissants taste good. Number 8. Vienna is home to some amazing palaces. No doubt due to the presence of the Habsburgs, Vienna is home to three of the great palaces of Europe. They are... Schönbrunn Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most famous landmarks in Vienna. Built to serve as the summer residence of the Habsburg emperors and empresses, Schönbrunn Palace boasts unreal architecture and stunning landscaped gardens. Visitors can explore the palace's many rooms, including the lavish state apartments and the private chambers of Empress Maria Theresa. Hofburg Palace can be found in the heart of Vienna, a palace that served as the official residence of the Habsburg rulers for centuries. Today, the sprawling complex houses various museums, including the Imperial Apartments, the CC Museum, and the Imperial Silver Collection. The palace also holds the Spanish Riding School, where visitors can watch performances of classical dressage. More on that in a bit. Since 1946, Hofburg has been the official residence and workplace of the President of Austria. And finally, Belvedere Palace. Built in the 18th century, the Belvedere Palace is renowned for its stunning architecture and extensive art collection. The palace consists of two main buildings, the Upper Belvedere and the Lower Belvedere, which are connected by beautifully landscaped gardens. On a side note, Upper Belvedere was the official home of the heir presumptive to the throne, Franz Ferdinand, until his war-inducing assassination in 1914. The next is a historical fact that most don't know. My kids are gonna love this one. Number 9. Vienna is home to the world's oldest zoo. Tiergarten Schimbrunn has been in operation since it opened on July 31, 1752. It was built on the orders of the then Holy Roman Emperor Francis I, husband of Maria Theresa, to serve as an imperial menagerie, which means a collection of animals, or in other words, a zoo. Technically, the zoo is even older as a small collection of animals has been kept at the site since 1540. As would be expected, the zoo has experienced some amazing things over the years, including becoming the first place an elephant was born in captivity, being an early voice for animal conservation under the leadership of Otto Antonius, and being one of the few zoos in the world to house panda bears. So what is number 10? There's only one way to find out. Number 10. Vienna is the only national capital to make significant amounts of wine within its city limits. With a heritage that dates back to 1132, each district in Vienna would work its own vineyards with a wine tavern culture developing in the 16th century, a culture that thrives to this day. Today, Viennese wine is considered one of the classic wines of the world. The city has as many as 630 producers, with many being of the white grape variety. Common types include Gruner Feltliner, Riesling, and Chardonnay. This section was short. Bonus fact, Vienna is home to the famed Spanish Riding School. The Spanish Riding School is an important institution in Austria that focuses on preserving classical dressage and training Lipizzana horses. With a history dating back to the 16th century, it was named for the Spanish horses that formed one of the basis of the Lipizzan breed, which is used exclusively at the school. 
The Spanish Writing School is located in Vienna and offers performances at the Hofburg, which are popular with tourists. The best horses and riders from the school sometimes travel around the world to perform. Our global community is a collection of fascinating places, cultures, and ways of life. And Vienna holds a special place not only in Austria, but the rest of the world. Let me know how you feel about this amazing city in the comments. Thanks for watching and taking the journey with us to better understand the global community.